Nyan, you know, we were hearing about what it was like with those crowds and the excitement. What did it mean to hold that trophy, to be the first person to get to hold that trophy for the Coates Golf Championship? It was an honor and also very honored to be in here in this room today. Um, I had a great season last year, I think because I had a great start with this tournament. So I would like to thank the coach and all the sponsor. Um, I wish I can, you know, keep come back and continue on. And we have a good partnership with the LPGA and coach. Um, I'm sure all the players want to play this tournament. And I'm really excited to be come back here. Nyan, you did such a tremendous job there and when you're during your uh, winner's speech last year for those of you the people in here that might not know your story you grew up in korea and came over here in 2007 i think it was to to, to qualify for the lpga tour at that time you didn't speak any english like none <laughs> <laughs> i mean imagine coming over to a new country not speaking the language and trying to compete with the best in the world it's definitely a huge challenge but you've done so much over the past few years to learn English, to become where you speak a lot better than I probably do in most aspects. <laughs> so just explain kind of the process and, and what it took for you to, to get to this point. Yeah, uh, when I came here, I couldn't speak any English. So uh, I had a hard time being on this tour and I was scared to do some interview, even I play well. So I always have English interview answers in my golf bag first like two years <laughs> and you know when I play well and before the tournament uh, 18 hole finish I always uh, bring out and try to read on the fairway and always my caddy say like hey Naya you need to focus on the golf and then don't, don't worry about the interview but uh, it was a hard time to learning English also because I have to do a lot of uh, golf practice too so I decided to hire English tutor on tour. So I hired one of the English tutor and we traveled two years together. So I learned English a lot from him. And now he became my manager, personal manager right now. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the most uh, barrier thing was uh, learning English, but the reason I learned English is I would like to share my feeling with the people and media and fans. So now I can share my feeling with the people. Mm -hmm. yeah. awesome. <laughs> Nyan, you do a great job and I know how hard you worked. We would get done with tournaments and I'd be walking through the hotel, we'd be traveling all over the world and you'd see Nyan sitting there with her tutor working for an hour or two hours every night making sure that you could speak English and you've done a fabulous job and we love that you can share your story because you have a great one. So thank you. Nyan, when you talk about crowds, you see a lot of crowds when we go into different places, but what was it like that first time you walked out there and saw the droves of people that had shown up here at Golden Ocala? I think they were very nice and I can see all the grandstand was packed with the crowd and um, they were very passionate to cheering for all the players, so I would like to see you again this year. Me too. And for you, starting your season here, why did you decide to kind of pick this as your first event? What, what made it a good first event for you, besides the fact that you won here last year and it's probably a good golf course for you? Um, I think it, this tournament is very important for me. You know, I won last year and last year was one of the um, most memorable year for me. Um, you know, and I like the course, I like this uh, grass because um, I live in Orlando, so my course has a pretty similar uh, grass here. And um, as a defending champion, I prepared hard to um, bring out the best in me. So, um, you know, hopefully I can have a good result again this year. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I like to have a, a defend my title again. Yeah. I want each one of you just to say one thing that you're most looking forward to as we look at the countdown being two weeks until we're out here and, and getting that first tee shot going. Uh, I'm looking forward to have a um, great tournament. Um, you know, this is a uh, 
pretty uh, important year for me, 2016 and Olympics coming. So I would like to do my best this coming season and I would like to start well with this tournament.